the entrance antiphon. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith, we may profess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and, filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, let them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported, we found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, 
According to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned. But whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light, because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light, and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. familiar with this gospel we see shirts and bumper stickers and license plates and signs at at games uh, John 316 God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life this is the whole point of what we're celebrating what we have celebrated it's the whole reason why Jesus came It's the whole reason why he suffered and died. Not to make us feel good, but to save us. When someone needs saving, they need something to be saved from. It means that they cannot do it themselves. It says that God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, to judge the world, but to save it. Because the world, whoever believes in him, will not be condemned. But whoever, whoever, uh, whoever believes in him will not be condemned. But whoever does not believe in him has already been condemned. We're already, we've already been condemned. We've already been thrown out of the garden. This is our chance to be saved from that condemnation. He is the light that came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light. Light is truth, right? When, we're, when we wake up in the middle of the night, maybe to go to use the restroom or something, uh, we can't see. Sometimes we stub our toe on the, on the um, nightstand or something uh, because the truth of our reality around us isn't illuminated. But when we turn on the light, we can then navigate more easily through, uh, through the house. Light is analogous to truth. It illuminates the reality of the truth around us. And Jesus is that light. He has come into the world to shine light on our dark deeds, on our sins, to show us the wrong we're doing so that we can turn away from them and turn toward him. But people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. I find this in myself. This is a very human, a fallen human thing to do. Uh, Look at Adam and Eve. When they sinned, they hid themselves. They covered up. They crept into the darkness where uh, their, their sin, where their the evil deed, whatever they did, could not be exposed, even though God knew and he could see. Uh, Don't we do the same? Don't we try to hide when we sin? Don't we try to recoil from the light? But Jesus, in his divine mercy, which we celebrated this last Sunday, welcomes us into that light. 
I'm in this light, and I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to condemn you. I'm here to save you from that. A lot of people have a hard time with confession, but literally that's bringing my dark deeds to the light so that they can be exposed, so that I can be freed and saved from them and told once again, you are my beloved son, you are my beloved daughter. These are things you did, those aren't things who you are, right? By bringing them to the light, the darkness can't stand the light, it recoils, the sin recoils, and we then stand exposed before God as beloved sons and daughters. Whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. Brothers and sisters, the first reading, the apostles are bringing the light of the gospel, the truth of the gospel to the whole world. And this is an awesome story because it just shows the power of God that man cannot stop this. The Sadducees and the Pharisees, because of their jealousy, it says, laid hands on the apostles and put them in public jail. During the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors in prison and let them out. Without the guard knowing, without anyone knowing, and they didn't flee for their lives. They ran right back in to bring the light to those in darkness, to tell people, you have mercy with God if you accept it. Come, confess your sins to the Lord and be forgiven. Come and be baptized. Become one of his children. Come and bring uh, bears of the light to others as well. We're all called to bring the truth of the gospel to those in our lives. By the, by the very lives that we live, by practicing our faith, and by speaking truth to those who are in error and in sin. That's not always a comfortable, fun thing to do, but necessary. If that person is drowning in their darkness and they don't realize it, um, we have to throw them some sort of preserver. We have to swim out to them and wake them up to the fact that you're drowning. But God will not let his light be stopped, not by any uh, plan, not by any power of this world. And it can't be, and it won't be. And that's why we're here today. Because many men, many entities have tried for 2,000 years and even before to stop the will of the Father, to stop the light of the world, to stop the message of Jesus. Many are trying today as well. But it is all futile. It will all come to naught. The Lord is God and no one else. He will do amazing things to make sure that his light is shown to the world. So brothers and sisters, let us turn to the Lord in our darkness. Let us bring our dark deeds to light. Let us recognize he is our savior. We have something to be saved from. Let's accept that and spread that light to others who so desperately need it. Now, to, now let us lift up our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Lucas, Bishop Conley, Bishop Hannafelt, and all bishops throughout the world. The Lord might inspire them to lead, to guide, to Jesus' heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for reverence for truth in our lives and throughout the world, that all of our political leaders might govern by way of the truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for recognition of the truth of human life and for its defense from conception through natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for reconciliation among enemies. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who are incarcerated. May they be given reform and hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for greater evangelization and the desire to spread the truth of the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all health care workers and all those who are vulnerable to the coronavirus. May the Lord protect them in every way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the swift and decisive delivery from this illness and pandemic and from every illness. For all those who are sick, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts. And we pray for all those who have died. May they rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, you are truly the giver of all good gifts. We, your beloved sons and daughters, offer our prayers to you in confidence, for we offer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Masses celebrated this day are offered for the repose of the soul of Dolores and Charles Ancona, as well as the eternal repose of David Court. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. With your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The 
communion antiphon. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. To all those separated from sacramental communion at this time, we offer the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We offer our prayer to St. Joseph. To you, you O blessed, blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and incorrupting influence. O oh, our most mighty protector, be propitious to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. And, as once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's children from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass has ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs>